All right, guys. Welcome to Dutch Boy Adventures. If this is your first time to the channel, you picked a great time to come. This is going to be our first Dutch Boy auction. And uh, the theme of this one is going to be bottles. And uh, we got lots of bottles, lots of milk bottles. But the ones I have out are the ones that I thought would be the best to start with. We'll see how the auction per, uh, progresses, and we'll see if we need to get out more from the boxes. Um, but let's just go through a little thing of what we got here, and just make sure if you want the details, they're going to be in the description of this video. And all you have to do to register is send me an email with your name, shipping address, and what method you will pay, either PayPal or credit card. I don't need the numbers or anything like that. Just one or the other, which way you'll be paying. Uh, and that way, when the auction's over, I could send out an invoice. So let's get right into this. If you're not familiar with me, my name's Dustin D'Agostino, and my channel is Dutch Boy Adventures on YouTube. I do metal detecting, uh, canal sifting, mud larking, bottle digging, fishing, camping. Um, and I try to get, and, oh, and I have an antique business. So I try to keep everything that I do on that channel. So it, even if you're interested in my antiques, you can check that out as well. But let's get started here and just give you a brief uh, shot of what we have. So if you look here, we do have lots more bottles. So milk bottles, that is. So we're going to start out here. We have a the famous polar wave. You can see I stole some water in there from when uh, I cleaned it. Uh, think of us when you want ice cream. And that is from Sunbury. And this is going to be a 1940s uh, milk bottle. Okay. And then we get over here. We have a Rother Milk Dairy, Minersville. A nice clean bottle. Lots of nice little bubbles. Almost all of these are from the 40s and 50s. Uh, some are a little bit older. Here is a nice cream top. Hoax Sanitary. Yeah. And on the back, we got some nice cursive. Oops. This is, I think, going to be one of the ones people really go crazy for. We got the Statue of Liberty on it. Uh, property of Liberty Milk Company, Buffalo, New York. Beautiful bottle. Um, let's see if I can find a date. No, no date on this one. But once again, you know, you know, you're looking at 40s and 50s. And we'll round the horn. We'll do a quick maple lane form with the nice little maple leaf. Uh, all these bottles are going to be, for the most part, uh, Pennsylvania. I think there's a couple Jerseys in there, a couple Virginias in here. But for the most part, on oh, that Buffalo, New York. Uh, it's going to be uh, Pennsylvania. Um, we'll come back here. Here's the Carlisle Sanitary. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Um, we have the Crawls Dairy, East Berlin. Nice stuff there. Uh, here's a nice one. We have Chestnut Farms Dairy, Washington, D.C. And nice little thing on the back and there so you guys can see that's the channel you want to be on um we got tumbling run a, a, a jay broke off they're pretty common the broke offs uh here we have a uh i don't even know what this is a clean dairy clean dairy and still has the top to it we have ourselves a nice little, here are two kids chuck full of whatever. I can't read all that, but look at that. That's pretty cool, right? Nice graphic. And that's a Mauer. So that's a good brand. And then here we have a Halls, not Hall, but a Halls. <laughs> and that's a pretty nice one with a little cow. I'm going to come over here and look at some more milk bottles. We have a nice uh, baby top, Brook, Brookfield Creamer, um, Hellertown PA, looks like a 1941. Um, 
Let's round this horn. Let's round the horn. Beep, beep. Okay, another Sunbury, but this one has a lot of stuff on the back. Yeah, just like that little one. Think of us. Here's a little, uh, no, I showed you that. All right. <laughs> I'm going to put that here, though. Okay, so here is a Scott Powell Dairies, Philadelphia. This one you guys might like. Uh, this is a Pen Pennsylvania milk. Has the Keystone symbol on it, okay? Turn it around, uh, PMP, and then we have the Keystone on the bottom. God bless you. Um, and this will, um, that'll be a good one there. Um, I think that was originally from the farm show back in the day, in the 40s. Here's a Shemokin. I always like to say Shemokin. All right, and I did Scott. Let's see here. We have Wagner's Dairy, Middleport, PA. Look at those nice little knobs on it. You know, you're definitely in the 40s, maybe even 30s when you have stuff like that. Uh, here's a Spring Grove, PA with a nice little home on it. Old Forge Farms. And then we have a cream top here of a Chaz Hoax. Which there's a couple of these Chaz Hokes in here. Nice cursive. Uh, different sizes. I think I have all three sizes in here. Uh, this is a Jansen. And if you could spell that or pronounce that, good for you. But that's what that is. All right. So that there are the milk bottles. Okay. And then, like I said, I have three crates yet full of milk bottles. So, you know, if... if Someone really, really is hot for milk bottles uh, for the auction. Just let me know. I have them. Um, come over here. We have a couple flasks. And uh, they're all just great. This one I like. Even though it's a little dirty, okay? You got to figure out a way to get that. But I like the bottom has the little star on it. Um, you know, it's definitely a... Um, has the side... Ooh side straps on it and a very nice if can you see that drippy lip that's that's not a drippy lip that's a droopy lip um and then these are just common but they are just fantastic shape look at the bubbles i'm a bubble guy so whenever i'm out getting bottles i'm always looking for bubbles i don't know why here's another one i just got this at shops grove at the bottle fest so you know some really nice stuff some of them are uh, tool tops. Some of them are drippy lip applied tops. Um, here we have a nice poison. Let's just, yeah, ergot. U.S. pox. <laughs> yeah, and that's original, original label. That's a nice one. So for this auction, we have... Uh, Three poisons. We have that, and we have two Vapo Cresolines. Um, this one's a 94, and that's just a nice little marble there. Isn't that beautiful? And then we have, uh, I think this is a 92? Let me see. Let me see. Nope, 94. So it's not that key date, but still... They're really nice. I think so. We have a screw top cod liver oil, which, you know, it, it once again, this is a machine made um, bottle, but what a nice little graphic on there, right? That displays so well. And then we have, let's see, coming over here, we have a Baltimore um, black dye. And that's definitely a tool top. Um, Let's see what else do we have. Oh, the only, I think this is the only crown top I included. And it's because it says Cray Rock Beverages made by Cray Rock Spring Water Company, Canton, Connecticut. So that's nice, right? Nice little marble. Um, and let's look at some meds here. We got some more meds. This actually says... Um, if you look at the top, I should have put this with the poison. It says P-O-I. It said poison. 
And read this, guys. Destroys crabs and certain body vermin. <laughs> and that's in the and you can tell that's just the original. Still has the cork in it. I'm gonna put that over here at the poisons. But it was a lotion. So um, here we have a Dr. W. A. Hawk Crystal Pharmacy Tower City PA. We have a couple slicks, just regular old meds, but uh they're beautiful. Really nice shape. This one's a little old. I would think this would be a uh I'm thinking this would be a gin bottle. But you know, nice boobles. Um now let's go into uh we have some blob tops, some hutches, and some squats as well. And let's go ahead and check those out. Here's one, guys, that this came from my private collection. It's a little hazy, but this is a uh I, I think this is a, like an 1870s um, Steelton PA, Steelton Bottling Works, okay? If you look at the bottom, let's see. Is there anything on the bottom here for us to see? No, I can't make nothing out. But this Steelton uh, Bottle Works, is, that's been out of business since I think the 50s or 60s. And um, you can't find these. You just can't. They're, they're like impossible. So this is one of the more rare bottles That'll be going up in this auction. And so, you know, all my bottles, uh, they may, I'll point out little defects if I see them. But, you know, like anything that's old, there could be like a little defect. But I'm trying not to put out anything with cracks. So there's nothing with cracks in here. Uh, I think there's only one bottle with a little rim chip that I'll show you. Other than that, these are nice, clean bottles. I'll make sure the ones that were wet get dried out before I put them in the mail. Um, and let's go to this one. Here we have a Lancaster, Charles Hain. Very nice. Look at these bubbles. Oh, my goodness. Ugh. Yeah, I love bubbles. I know. You guys are like, shut up. We know. All right. So here we have a Lancaster. We have another Lancaster. We have a bunch of Lancasters. These are nice. Uh, this is Lewis Bertle. And look at that beautiful, beautiful um, horseshoe. And not to be sold. So that's Prohibition error. Um, we have a Wacker Brothers, Lancaster. And look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, I want to go back to something here with... Where was that? Look at this. I'm going back to the steel and bottle. Look at the twist on the neck. Look at that beautiful twist they put on that. When they made that bottle. Beautiful. All right, so we did Wacker Brothers. Let's come over here to um, a John Bear. We have a nice little uh, hutch. Once again, just the bubbles. I, I only pick things with bubbles. Yeah, beautiful. And then here's another John Bear, or this is a Bear and Croft. Um, and I like the symbol that they put in there. And you look at the bottom, so... You know, this this one's definitely older than this one. So they must have been a company and then broke out into just him. Uh, E.A. Bain, Petersburg, Virginia. And this one we have painted. We have the letters stenciled. And you guys do know if you don't like that, you just take a Brillo pad and wipe it off. Beautiful bottle. All right. So, now, here's another beautiful twist top bottle. Look at that. All right, hold on. Let me get that. Try to find a way that you... There. Can you see that twist? And then it has the... There you go. And then it has the bubbles even showing up in it. So, and this is a... Uh, uh, buh, 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 something Miller. Philip Miller. I knew him. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but that's a nice blob top there. Um, let's go over here. We got another little taller hutch. And this is a, I think this is a spring water. Um, the Enterprise Bottling Works, supply company of PA. But look at that. Look at that bubble. Has the stopper in it from back in the day. And then we have two of these George H. Keels. All right. Uh, and then here we have the one. And on the back, you have the K. And then here's another. Same thing. But with this one, 
if you look in the middle, it says and company. So they incorporated. They went from private to corporation. So therefore, oh, that's older. And guess what I did, guys? I knocked over that dye bottle. Oh, she's still good. Okay, so there we go. Two of those. Let's come over here to this nice little squat. F. Angle Lancaster PA. And got the nice little E for angle. Nice bottom. We have a Angle Bottling Works. Another angle. With, should be an E, right? <laughs> uh, it's not an E. Okay, here we go. We got a Joseph Wacker Lancaster. Nice old bottle again. Look at that. Nice little bubbles. Nice clay marble, which will be going into the, the sale. Actually, it almost looks like it was strung. Nah, that's just that one side. And then we have another angle. And this one, or this is an angle side bottling company. So another, <laughs> another nice old Lancaster. That's my wife hacking. So um, those are the bottles we're going to have for this auction. I hope this is what everyone's looking for and what they like. And then on top of that, we're going to go ahead and we're going to do some marble giveaways and some marble selling. And if you look here, I kind of mixed them all up. But let's do this. Let's put these suckers back where I had them kind of grouped. Uh, yeah, these guys were on their own. Doom, do, doom, doom. So, I'm not sure if any of these are Christiansons, the TA Christiansen or not. Um, I didn't really have a chance to really look these up. So, I'm going to be starting out real low on some of these uh, lots. And you guys should probably end up um, getting a couple good buys. But here's some special marbles. Here's those, um, I forget what they're called, but they have that like hazing on them. And then these are all just different ones I picked out that had all kinds of fancy schmancy stuff on them. You know, just oddballs that I know uh, are, are a little bit better. Same with these, a little bit better in the colors. And then you come over here with the shooters and... I got one cat's eye made in there. I, this is a whole bag of cat's eyes if you guys want any. Um, but I, these are the ones I picked out for the auction, okay? So hopefully you guys like that. If anyone has anything to add, here, I'll tell you what. If you're watching this video and you know the difference between these marbles for me, help me out. I don't know what all these marbles are. I'm not a marble guy. I just am not a marble guy. Um, I'm an antique guy and bottle digger and metal detectorist, but the marbles... Unless it's a German onion swirl, I'm pretty much clueless. Or a clay marble or a Bennington. So, you know, you guys can help me on that. Um, we have some old banks. This is a Portman Building Society bank. Six pence, three pence. So, obviously, this is English. And when you look here, let's turn this over. Let's come on in here. Ooh, 1921 was a good year. So this is an English bank, savings bank. And this is a Swiss. So I can't read that, but you can. And it says 1871. It's not 1871, but it's going to be, look at that, Sweden. So it's going to be, um, my guess is around the same time period you know, 1910s and 1920s, they would give these banks out uh, to kids to save money. And then you notice they all have keys. The bank had the key. So then what the kid would do is bring in a savings bank. The bank would open that up, take the money out. And that was how they encouraged savings. So I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, we got a couple thimbles. Neither are silver. Obviously, that's not silver. We have a little black Americana. Um, and this is original, made in Japan. Um... Really, really nice. No, it, no, no dings, nothing on that. That's a real, that's a real, real deal. Uh, we have two shakers. One is sterling silver. Not really that fancy. And the other one's pewter. But the pewter one, actually, look at the flowers, is a lot more fancy. And there's a bird. 
that's cool. I never saw it before. Yeah, right there. So it makes you wonder, and there's no patent anything, so you know that's old. Um, we have a silver Ford. This is what they gave to their comp their uh, employees for anniversaries. This is a 25-year anniversary award from the Ford Motor Company. That'll be up for auction. We have buttons. We have buckles. Um, you know, we have a little horseshoe, a little copper horseshoe uh, pendant. Um, we have a mourning pin. Um, the plates, the plates will go as well. This plate is a, it was made in Palestine and it's marked on the back. I'm not going to pick it up. Just, yeah, you'll see it in the auction. I'll flip it over if anyone's interested. Maybe no one's interested in that, but, um, this is from Palestine. Um, and I think it was in the forties. Um, it's easy to date that stuff because some of these places weren't a country at that point. You know, you could pinpoint when they were a country. So whenever they started calling Palestine, Palestine, there you go. Um, then we come over here and this is some, let's see, we'll move her face. This is some royal lady. I don't know, but this is English. It's an English plate with a little gold gilt on it, but it kind of rubbed off here. But it's in great shape. No necks, no chips. We have... Two Civil, War, two Civil War bullets from Gettysburg, okay? They were bought at the Little Drummer Shop. Um, I actually acquired them at an auction. And uh, we have a couple Crotal Bells. Look at that big man pajama. You can just lightly see a letter right there. But you know, this is 1800s all day. And then here's some more 1800s ones. And there's a two. There's another one. The, all right, so the first one, just so people know, that's a crotal bell. Cause it has the, um, oh, why am I drawing a blank on what I want to call it? The shank, it has the shank. These are sleigh bells. And as you can see, they were attached to a leather strap. So that's the difference between a, a crotal bell and a sleigh bell. We also have this old military picture from a military academy from uh, the 1800s, right around the Civil War period. Um, this ashtray is a courier in Ives, the old gr grist mill. And I think that rounds out pretty much everything, guys. Um, let me know in the comments what you think. Is this a good auction? I mean, is this something that, like, people are going to really, really, you guys are going to go crazy over? Um, or is this common? Or is this something you haven't seen in a while? Um, I think we just have some really good quality bottles here. They're clean. Um, here, the one that had the chip was a, on the lip was a Lancaster. Here it is. Yeah. The one with the horseshoe has just a mind. This is the only lip issue right here. It's a dent. Yeah. I don't even know. That, that, it's not even like it didn't happen after the fact. This is how it was made. But either way, that's the only problem bottle. That's the biggest problem you'll get out of any of these bottles is just that one. Um... So, yeah, let me know in the comments. Like I said, the details are going to be in the um, in the description of this video. Um, and once you guys get that and see it and you're ready to register, like I said, just send it to my email, which will be in the description. And all you have to do is put your name, your full name, your shipping address, and what method of payment. I accept credit card through Square, and I accept PayPal. That's it. No other thing. Um, so all you have to do is tell me which one of those. Um, I, I do. I'm friends with. Uh, so you guys know when it comes to bottles, I'm great friends with uh, James Anuska with uh, Drippy Lip Auctions. I'm also good friends with Travis with uh, Crick Diggers um, and uh, Carrie Land, who is a big digger of the Northeast. And a bunch of other guys, uh, New York Digger, Steve, a bunch of guys that are really in this community. So just want to let you guys know that this this is the real deal. Um, we're going to keep making it happen. I have an antique shop, so I can pull product out as I, as I want. 
In the future, we're going to have coin auctions. We're going to have sports cards auctions. So I have killer, killer sports cards. Um, you know, so if anyone's interested in different things or want to add something, tell me. Uh, ephemera, um, there'll probably be a jewelry auction. We'll probably have a, a doll auction, a nodderhead auction. Um, there's just all kinds of different um, things that, that we can do. But bottles, we're always going to come back to bottles because uh, with the guys I know and the auctions I go to, I can bring these to you and you guys can get them at a good price. So uh, I hope you like this and um, I'm looking forward to hearing your, your feedback in the comments. Uh, you don't have to join the channel, but it would probably be easier if you did. So then you could get notified when I have my auctions and I plan on having them bi-weekly. Um, so August 1st, 7 p.m. It's a Tuesday and that'll be the first Dutch boy auction. And I hope to see you there.